Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Leo, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your key to the week this week is the Emperor card. I actually feel like this is some sort of career advancement for a lot of you, or maybe you're stepping up or into a role that you maybe hadn't envisioned. Maybe you're getting some good news in regards to the career. In some way, this could see you stepping into a position of power. For some of you, this could be some form of leadership. Or for some of you, this could be rising up the ranks in your life in some way where you are taking command, where you are in the top spot, where you... What Leo isn't, darling? <laughs> but, you know, in some way, this could literally see you almost like becoming ruler of the roost like i don't know i like this for for the leos i think this could be a really really great week that being said it is going to come with some form of responsibility or you may um i feel like as well for some of you you might have something called into question where you're having to instantly be more responsible um about you know whatever it is that you're looking after or being a part of uh, if you are a continued subby you know Rafi loves you and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like share and if you should so choose and this resonates hit that subscribe button for your actions and options this week you got the three of swords having the guts to let go of or release something that you can no longer give your best to in a lot of ways i feel like this might be a big realization for a lot of you leos it's like if i'm gonna step into this position if i'm gonna do this thing if i'm gonna you know be known for dot 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 or something new something that's changing I have to be fully aligned. I have to be fully aware. And I also have to have a fully open path in order for me to step forward in this way. And for this reason, that Three of Swords this week, it's kind of like that, um, uh, you know, not as extreme, obviously, but you know, the, the, you know, it's not funny. I'm not laughing because it's funny, but you know, it's quite shocking. Um, you know, like, the the guy that had to cut his own arm off or he was going to die in the desert because he was stuck literally between a rock and a hard place um this could be something like this this week it's like you've got this wonderful opportunity this amazing sort of push forward in your life but you're having to let something go in order to do so and the three of swords is very rarely something removed from our lives that feels comfortable or easy the fact that you've got it in your actions and options, this is you consciously choosing to remove something, to separate yourself from something. And you know, it might even just be a tie or a connection, but you could feel it, right? Like it's like, okay, you know what? That energetic tie to whatever or whoever, instantly you'll feel it. Like, you know, like when you hear, uh, like when an elastic band snaps, it's kind of like that this week. When it comes to your communications and conversations, you've got that eight of swords, right? So this is it, right? The fact that, so interestingly enough, this with the emperor, um, I have seen this represent people getting into degree programs. So if you are a student, if you are starting some new sort of field of study, or if you're starting some sort of new course or going in a new academic direction, you are going to be expected to show up, right? You're gonna to have to be in it for the long haul. And it looks like a lot of you will be, right? This is you making a very a very solid or very firm decision on that front. If you work for somebody else, this is you being committed to a project. Um, maybe you have a say in this, maybe you don't. Maybe your boss comes to you and says, look, we're doing this project and we want you to be a part of it just know this is going to be something that you are working on for a long time to come there's far-reaching ripples with this uh, it could be absolutely wonderful for you and it could be that elevation in the career it could be some really wonderful stuff but it is going to be a big deal um, be prepared 
for those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this is, I think, in a lot of ways, <laughs> this is you committing yourself to becoming a boss, right? This is you committing yourself to the longer term growth and plans of your business. It is requiring you to give a lot more of yourself than maybe you had realized. And it's also asking you to show up in ways that you don't really know you can. Um, it's crazy how telling this is as well like it could be that maybe it's like you know what there's so much growth happening right now and it's wonderful but it's scary because i'm you know wearing trousers and hats right now that i've never had to wear before and then finally when it comes to um those of you that are retired and no longer working because you've got the three of swords here this looks like some of you especially for those of you that have i'm not a doctor can't give you medical advice um but especially for those of you that are having some sort of health challenges this could be you starting to look at what it is that's having a debilitating effect on your life in some way shape or form it sees you being really um and for a lot of you i kind of feel like this might be you being really honest maybe you're seeing a specialist <coughs> excuse me maybe you're seeing somebody that has a um what's the word, uh, you know, it has a, a special skill set or a special knowledge set in some way. For your love and relations, you've got the three of cups. Love, relationships, partnerships are good. And I know you're thinking, but hang on, we've got the three of swords. Two threes, two threes represents calm or a calming influence. The partnership, the relationship, the connection is good. It's fun, it's vibrant. In fact, your partnership energy, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this is you guys getting back to being friends. This is a lot of fun, it's a lot of enjoyment, it's a lot of laughter. Even, you know, and this is one of the, the beauties of human life, right? I can't remember what the film was, but I remember this line and the guy said, you know, even your heart as you feel it's breaking is such a beautiful thing. And that really rings true for me when I see this combination because it's like, yeah, you know what, like something in your world this week is is really, you know, has you feel like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. Like it's not crushing because it's not stopping you from doing anything, but you feel it. Whereas that three of cups is like, but you know, like I can still have so much love and so much laughter with the person that I love and the person that I care about. For some of you, a select few, and you'll know if this is you, this could spell the end of a relationship, but the beauty of it is you and the partner or the ex-partner are remaining friends. It's like you're, you know that the relationship itself will never go back to being that but there is a friendship there, there is a bond, there is a kinship, and that, you know, is worth everything. When it comes to those of you that are single, hit up your friendship network, plan activities, go and spend time with friends this week, get out of your rut, right? Have your moment, feel what you're feeling, be all in, all in the feels. Um, but outside of that, be open to the other wonderful uh, aspects of life. For your money and materials, you've got the Ace of Cups, right? So money looks good, work looks good, progression looks great, finances look wonderful. Now, I am gonna say this, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this is baby-making energy. This is pregnancy, birth, it's all of that kind of stuff. If you want to conceive, this could be a good week to do so. If you are, um, but then when it comes to your money and your finances specifically, this is you now starting to understand how, what the steps are to making the kind of money that you feel would make you feel abundant. The steps suddenly become clear or the opportunity in order to do so shows up for you. But remember what I said, you're gonna have to show up. If you're expecting something for nothing, if you're expecting big results for little little effort, you might as well check out now. I'm just gonna tell you that straight up because that's not gonna be the way of it. If you're prepared, ready, and able to do the work and to grit in, the good results are there. For your physical health and vitality, I love this card for physical health and vitality because it's an easy card. And so for those of you that are looking at or into chronic health situations, 
you could find a solution this week that is easy on the body and easy to get hold of, easy to maintain, right? Which could be great. And then for your home and environment, the Ace of Cups is gorgeous. Um, it could be for a select few of you, maybe, just maybe you're getting a new pet. Um, it's possible. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. I'm intrigued. Take care and I'll see you soon.